Okay, so now we are going to talk about manipulators. So I'm going to take away this input failure. And I'm going to add, remember our circle program that we wrote, I'm going to get that program back. I made a copy of it in my module 3 folder, notice. Um, so I have a copy of it in this folder as well, so I can change this. This is a different copy than what I had um, before. So we're going to take this, and in this case, I'm going to add a comment. I'm going to use manipulators to format my output. So the first thing to do to use manipulators is to include a header file called iomanip to manipulate our output. So we need that. I'm going to have that. And let's first run this and see what we need to change before we change anything. So if we run it, if we build it again as part of this project and run it, I'm going to enter, let's move it over here, I'm going to enter my radius to be 2.54, something like that. And it gives me an area and a circumference. So what if I want it rounded to two digits as opposed to the four that I get? So we need to do a few things, a couple of things. Before you output, we are going to say C out. We're going to say fixed. Fixed will change it from a floating point notation to a fixed decimal notation. And I also want to say show point point show point says show me the decimal even if there is no numbers after the decimal point so if i had a radius of 15 it wouldn't simply say 15 it would say 15.00 so i want to do set precision that's my next manipulator set position says how many digits do you want after the decimal and so that's where we put in two now the set precision is different for fixed and floating points. So you might want to experiment with that a little bit and see what you get. If you don't have the fixed manipulator, then the set precision works a little different with the same number two for a floating point. So notice how some of the manipulators, like the set precision, takes parameters. The other two manipulators, like the fixed and the show point, don't take any parameters. They are not functions, so they are all different. So read through Chapter 3, look at some of the manipulators, and you will need to use them to format your output accordingly. So let's see how this looks. Run it. And so if I do 2.54 again, notice I get 20.27 and 15.96. Now, also, if you would like your um, output to be formatted a little bit better, everything aligned nicely as opposed to the way it shows up, first of all, I'm going to have a new line showing up here. So I have some lines, blank lines in between my output. Now, I have area equals... So what if I want it all left justified, and I also want some column width before I output this. So to left justify, you say left, that's the manipulator, then I'm going to say area equals, then I'm going to have a set width. The set width says how many columns do we need before, and, uh, before a certain input. So let's say I'm going to set with about 15 for area. It looks like that. I'm also going to do a set width for my text here of 31. So let's see how this looks before we do anything. I'm also going to add another new line so it looks a little cleaner. So let's go ahead and build it and run it and I'll put in the same number over the side a bit 2.54 now notice my area equals and I have a lot of room here and then 20.27 square units seem to be pushed out there because by default it, it gets left justified because I said left justified. So out of the 31, it's going to left justified and then it leaves the rest of them as blank spaces. 
So ideally, we should probably right justify just that number so the square units doesn't get pushed out so far. So these are some things that you can play with. Now I'm also going to do the same set width for my next line so it all looks even. So goal is to make the output look nice and even so they're not all over the place. And I'm going to see if I can do a right for that. And if that will fix that, let's go ahead and copy the same thing for our circumference here. OK. Let's see if that looks any better. So I have my area left justified and the actual number right justified. And let's say 2.54. So it looks a little better. And notice they are all nice and even. And you can take out the equal to if you don't want to. And the columns are all nicely aligned. And if you don't want this much of a gap, you can always reduce it to about maybe, oh, how about we'll change that to a 20. And then it should look a little better. Not so far away from the actual text. So use the manipulators as you go through your assignments. We will need to use the manipulators to make your output look a lot nicer than just um, outputting it to the user without using any of them. So format your output so it looks nice and clean. Reading and writing to the user is very important for this class. So that shows you a bit about uh, formatting.